And when you look at Clemson, you know, I think another team that has theirs coming is Oklahoma. So when I talked about Clemson, I talked about the best teams in college football, they're able to will themselves into victories, okay? And close games. But eventually, sometimes you end up being in so many close games that eventually it catches up to you. And with Clemson, they were in so many tightly contested games. Like we saw what happened against Georgia Tech. They were able to escape. But eventually, there's going to come a time when eventually you're not going to be able to escape. You're going to end up finding a way to lose. And I think that day is coming for Oklahoma. Clemson had their day of reckoning. Ohio State had their day of reckoning against Oregon. And I think Oklahoma has theirs coming. Now, I don't know when, but I know it's coming for Oklahoma because they barely got by for West Virginia. And I know everybody's going to say a win is a win, but sometimes a win isn't a great win. And when you look at Oklahoma, it looks like they're barely making it by. Like, they're limping out of these games. Same thing with Clemson. Like, Clemson is limping. They look like a wounded animal. You know, Oklahoma right now is prey. They're limping to the finish line. It is only a matter of time before somebody comes in and they finish off Oklahoma. The offense doesn't look good. Spencer Rattler doesn't look all that good. So is Oklahoma overrated? I don't think Oklahoma's overrated. I really feel like the overrated, you know, label that people try to throw on teams is just simply them being wrong about a certain team. I don't really feel like Oklahoma is overrated. I just feel like a lot of people had a lot of high expectations and, you know, they kind of overestimated how good this Oklahoma team was. And I wasn't really sold on Oklahoma going into this year. I had questions about Spencer Rattler. I had questions about this Oklahoma run game. But, you know, everybody's just so quick to say, oh, yeah, national championship. Everybody was so quick to label Oklahoma the second best team in college football. And again, that people just got too caught up in their own expectations. And what happens is when people have these high expectations that aren't being met, they end up going on and saying that, oh, this team is overrated. Oklahoma wasn't overrated. You just, you know, were wrong about Oklahoma and your evaluation. You thought that Oklahoma was better than what they actually are. And even though Oklahoma is 4-0, I'm going to tell you guys right now that Oklahoma is going to end up losing at least two games this year. I already made a bet with somebody that Oklahoma would not make it into the college football playoffs. You look at Spencer Rattler, man, like, I've been telling people this about Spencer Rattler for the longest. Spencer Rattler is... Uh, unorthodox quarterback. He's similar to Patrick Mahomes. Like, we're seeing a lot of these new quarterbacks enter college football now, and they play a lot of backyard football. They're not fundamentally sound. You know, a lot of things they do is unorthodox. And Spencer Rattler has a very unorthodox playing style. And you know, it's a good thing in the positive, because when plays break down, he's going to try to make a play, and it's either going to work out for him, or it's going to cost him and bite him in the leg. And for Spencer Rattler, he ends up being over aggressive at times. He tries to make plays instead of just taking what the defense gives him. Like, I really think for Spencer Rattler, you know, there was a time during the West Virginia game this past weekend when Oklahoma Sooner fans were calling for him to be benched. They were chanting the name of the backup quarterback behind Spencer Rattler. And, you know, when you look at Spencer Rattler, man, like, I think he has to be benched. And I think it's going to come a time when he's going to end up getting benched. And then he ends up getting inserted back into the game or he ends up starting the following week. He ends up performing very well. We saw that happen last year with Spencer Rattler when Lincoln Riley ended up benching him in the middle of the game. Then he put him back in the game. And from that point forward, Spencer Rattler played well for the rest of the season. I really feel like that's going to end up happening for Spencer Rattler at some point this season. And there's been a lot of Oklahoma Sooner fans who have already previously said before the season that Spencer Rattler still is a work in progress. But, you know, everybody just get so caught up in the hype that what happened last year like last year is last year you got to focus on this year so for Oklahoma fans you're not surprised that Spencer Rattler is struggling because there are a lot of Oklahoma fans that are telling me before this season began that hey JT you know Spencer Rattler isn't as good as what a lot of people are making it out to be and even I was a little bit shocked you know I was like okay I gotta wait and see but now I'm starting to understand but you know when it comes to Spencer Rattler You know, he does have all of the talent in the world, 
But sometimes when you're super talented, instead of trying to take what the defense gives, you just overly rely on your talent too much. And you're probably saying, JT, how do you overly rely on talent? Well, sometimes when you overly rely on talent, you get too cocky. And when you get too cocky, you try to force passes that you have no business throwing. You try to throw a pass into triple coverage just because you just overly rely on your talent. Sometimes you just have to just take what the defense gives you. Sometimes you just have to go ahead and take that two yard check down. It may not be the flashiest play, it may not pick up a lot of yards, but it's better taking those plays and still, you know, keeping the drive alive than just trying to throw everything into one basket with trying to get the big flashy plays. And that's what I feel is the problem with Spencer Rattler. Like he just plays super unorthodox, his fundamentals are kind of off. And it's nothing wrong with that you can be very successful, but sometimes you have to know when to be aggressive and when to try to make a play. And sometimes you have to be able to know when to let a play die and live for another down. And that's the problem that I'm noticing with Spencer Rattler. You know, the talent's there, the skill set's there. I just feel like Spencer Rattler is one of those quarterbacks, like he just feels like he has to try to do it all. And Oklahoma's defense won them that game against West Virginia. You don't normally think about that, but I really feel like Oklahoma's defense has bailed this team out a lot of times. And you don't really think of that when you think of Oklahoma, you think about offense, you think about their defense allowing 40 points, but this defense for Oklahoma has actually been really solid this year. And this defense is bailing them out. But I think Oklahoma right now, they're a wounded animal. They're a gazelle. And they're going to run into a lion that's going to end up finishing this team off. Like, they're 4-0 right now, but I promise you, by the end of this season, they're probably going to have two losses. Now, I don't know where those losses are going to come from. I'm not saying they're going to lose to Kansas State. All I'm saying is that, like what happened with Clemson, Clemson was finding ways to win games. But they were really ugly. They were in wounded animal mode. And I said earlier that the best teams in college football find a way to will themselves to a victory. But also at the same time, you don't see them barely making it by week after week like we saw with Clemson. It was only a matter of time before somebody came in there and chopped their head off. And for Oklahoma right now, they're limping. They're like a limping cat limping across the road. You know, they haven't got hit by a car yet, but it's coming. And the day of reckoning for Oklahoma, I think it's coming sooner rather than later. Because this team right now kind of looks out of sorts, at least from an offensive standpoint. The offensive line is having some issues. Spencer Rattler is having some issues. I don't feel like the play calling for Lincoln Riley has really been all that great year all that great this year also and I know it sounds crazy to say but I don't really feel like Lincoln Riley is maximizing the current personnel that he has on his team right now so I just feel like there's a lot of things going on with Oklahoma and sometimes you need a reality check and I think a reality check is coming quickly for Oklahoma faster than what you guys expect but you guys let me know do you guys feel like Oklahoma is overrated because like when people say Oh, uh, he, this player is overrated or he's overrated. Like, I really feel like, nah, like I just, and I had to learn this from experience. Like anytime I used to say a team is going to be this good and they end up failing to meet my expectations, I ended up calling them overrated. And then over the years I learned, you know, this team wasn't overrated. I just was wrong about this team. And for Oklahoma, you know, a lot of people were wrong about Oklahoma. But, you know, a lot of people don't like to be wrong. So they just tried to use the excuse of, oh, this team was overrated. Like, they weren't overrated. You just didn't properly evaluate this team. You know, a lot of people in life are quick to hop on the train before they know where the destination is. For Oklahoma, everybody was quick to hop on the train and they didn't know where this team was headed. Everybody kind of, you know, was hype, was reading the magazines, you know, these preseason magazines. You know, they always gas up everybody and things like that. You know, they always are overly optimistic about every single team. But a lot of people are quick to overlook the flaws that certain teams have, you know, at the start of the season. And everybody's just so quick to hop on the train without knowing where they were headed. So when you look at Oklahoma, they, they're not overrated. It's just that a lot of people evaluated this team wrong and they were wrong in their evaluation. 
And every time somebody's wrong in their evaluation, they always try to save themselves instead of accepting and saying, hey, man, I was wrong about this team. They just tried to take the easy way out and say, yeah, man, this team was overrated. I wasn't wrong. They're just overrated. Like, no, nah, you were wrong. You evaluated the team wrong. This team isn't overrated. You know, you just thought that this team was better than the level that they're playing as right now. So when I look at Oklahoma, you know, I don't think this team's overrated. I just think that there were a lot of people who are wrong in how good they felt this team was. So you guys let me know down in the comment section down below how you guys feel about Oklahoma. Do you guys feel like Oklahoma is going to end up finishing this season out undefeated? Or do you feel like they're going to end up losing at least one or two games this year? Let me know down in the comment section down below.